Weather with Chief Meteorologist Alden LaCroix. Welcome back. Slightly cooler temperatures than what we had yesterday, and we are going to keep this cooling trend going all the way through the course of the weekend and into next week. And also with that is going to be improving air quality across much of Western Oregon. I will say if you're headed up into the Cascades this weekend, the smoke is going to remain anywhere from, say, Odell Lake all the way down to Crater Lake. If you're north, you should be okay, especially up towards Mount Hood and such. Uh, but for the most part, we are going to be dealing with some improvements as long as we don't get any uh, lightning caused fires. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Not the fires, but the thunderstorms starting to develop right along the Bly Mountains. You can see down across areas of Klamath and uh, Lake counties, but that's starting to stream up toward uh, the Antelope Canyon areas of Lapine headed up towards areas of Blue River right now. And we are starting to hear some thunder if you're out towards Oak Ridge uh, just off toward the east. And that could produce a few rumbles of thunder even up towards areas of Blue River. This is kind of some monsoonal moisture that's moving in even here across Eugene. We've had the clouds and the smoke today as this area of low pressure is pro approaching. Now, the big story about this is yes, it's actually good news. It's shifting our pattern. And anytime we get that, we are getting that flux of monsoonal moisture and we are going to be on the lookout for the isolated thunderstorms through the course of the evening. Now, the big story about tomorrow is the widespread cloud cover. We are going to see dramatically different conditions and that's also going to impact the temperature. We're going to stay in the 80s across much of the region as opposed to those 90s. Here's a look at your Saturday. More cloud cover towards Saturday versus Sunday. And I will say uh, temperatures are going to be dropping even more. Notice uh, about 86 degrees in Eugene, uh, 87 down towards Roseburg. As we move into Sunday, uh, the big story about that is cloud cover in the morning mainly sunny towards the afternoon and you can see a touch warmer for you folks in Roseburg. But man, this Ducks game is going to be fantastic. Take a look at these temperatures. I uh, hopefully it's not a nail biter like last weekend, but 81 degrees at kickoff, mostly cloudy conditions. Uh, and the big story about uh, the game is we have the sun, the warm temperatures around seven o'clock by the second half of the game. It starts to get a little bit cool out there, so definitely plan accordingly. Uh, this is kind of a uh, layered forecast, I should say uh, tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. Now here's Friday evening. Here's those isolated cells starting to develop across areas of Deschutes, Klamath County. Uh, we are going to be watching that up towards areas of Blue River and Oak Ridge as well. Here is Saturday morning, mainly cloudy conditions across the region. And I will say we're going to push a lot of that wildfire smoke back out across areas of Central Oregon tomorrow but we have the cloud cover and that continues throughout the course of the day on Saturday. By Sunday, we have cloud cover in the morning, a little bit of patchy mist and drizzle, but notice toward the afternoon, completely sunny skies, and that could also be for areas of Florence as well. So there's several cold fronts, pattern changes on the way, and that is gonna lead to this downtick in temperatures. But Wednesday, there's a reason why we're in the 60s, and it's because of a strong area of low pressure that's moving in across the northwest. Not only is this going to bring cool weather, but those shower chances Wednesday, and it's also shifting our pattern completely. We can say goodbye to the 90s across areas of Eugene this year because we are going to be as warm as around 80 degrees likely all the way through the next two weeks. 65 degrees for the Oregon coast on Saturday. Showers likely toward Wednesday at around 62 degrees for the Umqua Basin. 87 Saturday afternoon. The cooling trend continues into Tuesday and eventually by Wednesday, 68 degree high temperature with those showers expected. Cascades, we still have a red flag warning in place, but notice the cooling trend, 52 rain likely on Wednesday and those overnight lows are going to be dipping to around 35, 36 degrees and for Eugene and Corvallis 86 on Saturday. You can see the downtrend in temperatures 78 Tuesday and 65 with showers on Wednesday. We were kind of talking before the newscast. That seven day forecast is perfect. Only one day of rain. Mm -hmm. We clear out fine with. <laughs> yeah, I'm OK with that. I would prefer five days of rain, but I'll take the one day. My my lawn prefers it for sure. I yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Holden. Of course.